this is not a spring chicken. Sometimes when it comes to news, well, let's just say, you know, it only costs sixty million dollars to employ six people in a solar factory. Oh, you know, I have a job for you. Ten million dollars, one job. I volunteer. <laughs> we could probably do, actually, we could probably give you two jobs for ten million dollars. Oh, and besides that, what was it? Of course, it's George Bush's fault that gas is so incredibly high. And, oh, what was the other one? You know, they were lauding, well, let's just say, it, congratulations on the new pipeline. Of course, it was greenlighted before, and you're taking credit for it, but sometimes it's just going to make you scratch your head because you're just curious who's really running this campaign. And, of course, we're talking about President Obama's campaign. Meanwhile, news still continues, and we've got old Cam with comments on the headlines of today. Obama's putting the Oklahoma pipeline on the fast track. Hang on, i got to cover Rex's ear because by now everyone knows that Rex worships the ground that the president works walks on. He, he's, they laughed at him today because this is, this, this, uh, he has no authority over the pipeline. He can't fast track anything, and it was already been approved. And it's going, it's, it's going to start building whether he wants it or not. So, and it's also the reason why it's not currently being done is because the part that pumps the oil to it, he doesn't approve of. So he's trying to claim. They said that no. Okay, political advisors have all said the same thing. A few of the pollsters they want to know who's running this man's campaign. He he goes to a place that tells Solar Energy that hired six people. At $11 million a person and doesn't produce as much power as one windmill does. Are you serious? Yeah, and, uh, and there's no way of getting the power from where they're at to where it has to be because the infrastructure there. Then he goes does the pipeline thing and now the, he's going to finish it up in Ohio where he's going to simply make the speech that the reason why your gas prices are so high because of George Bush and, and what he has done to, the done to the gasoline industry. He's not president. He left. George Bush is not president, Mr. Reagan. I mean, you know, Mr. Obama. You are the president, and you inherited a dollar eighty-nine a gallon gas, and it is now over five dollars a gallon. Because I would don't worry, they gave themselves an A plus for handling the uh, energy problem in this country. And why few people use Twitter to get breaking news? Well, because the problem is, is um, the. That I used to pick up breaking news off of it, use it to send things, but it goes down. If the more people you have, the faster it goes down, so no one ever sees it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't work. The same as if you got a lot of Facebook followers, it goes by. So I mean, we can't even find something that she wanted to, uh, that a spring chick wanted to get some information that somebody sent her. We don't even know where that thing is. Oh, it's, it's days long ago, it's gone. gone. And Texas boy kidnapped eight years ago to be re reunited with his mother. I know, but the problem is this is the third day they have ran the same news item and the kid still has not been reunited. Oh, really? So there's something up there. And Ben and Jerry's launches a new flavor to support gay marriage. I know, which everybody said really tastes horrible, which is a great thing. Oh, really? Yeah. They said, you know, Aww. the guy said, uh, he said it was What's like... What's in it? What was it? They said it was like you were... And they said, well, no, I can't say that, because if I say that, they're going to toss me off of television. Oh. Yeah. And Arizona may relax a contraceptive coverage mandate. Yeah, because the, the, they're basically they aren't going to, because of the fact that they won't cover males in Viagra, so they're not going to cover females with the other thing. We have a law that says that you have to have equal rights, and therefore, if women have more rights than men, you Obama basically... Uh, I love this. They said in a private meeting, Obama told his people that goddamn, you know, Fox News is costing me all the male vote in this nation. If I don't have the women's vote, I can't win. Um, a great percentage of those guys that are males that are big. Okay, if you're uh, men, a lot of men in Hollywood tend to be Democrats, so he's counting them out as a loss leader also. Mm -hmm. And Arizona may relax contraceptive mm -hmm. coverage. Oh. Okay, record-seeking skydiver makes a 13-mile test jump. Oh God, I mean that's called a halo jump. You got to be crazy, folks, because there's no air where they're jumping, and Are you they serious? And, and you're coming like about three or four hundred miles an hour, like a rocket towards the ground, and hoping your parachutes will stop you. 
And Rush Limbaugh joins Twitter to mobilize an army of supporters. Oh yeah, I mean this morning, uh, they announced this morning, the left is going to take on Rush Limbaugh head on and get him removed from the air. Well no, the people that listen to Rush Limbaugh aren't worried about what the left has to say. And the, and the advertisers are generally, okay here's the thing is, the big advertisers are trying to get back on because their business suffered. So he's not really scared of the left. The more the left attacks him, the more the right comes to his stations. And neighbors say Afghan attack suspect was family man. Yeah, but that's one of the, that's, that basically they are probably all jailed by the Obama administration for saying they were good guys because uh, that is followed up a little while ago with he has an extensive criminal past. Yeah, they, all of this stuff that's not supposed to, according to, okay, he was a bad boy when he was in school and he went into the military, but everything that according to the law is not supposed to be allowed out, the Obama administration is leaking to everybody. And Syrian revolt simmers outside capital. Yeah, I and mean, basically, why do they think the Russians sent shock troops in? <laughs> And two U.S. men arrested on a gay cruise in the Caribbean. Oh yeah, they were they were basically having gay sex, you know, oh, really? on board the ship. Well, they, here's the I heard what this is what they said. You can't do this because the, the Congress of the United States states guarantees us the right to have sex anywhere we want it. And they pointed out where they they said uh, 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 they said that other the straight people are too. They said we run this country. They don't. Oh, really? Yeah, isn't that a good one? We run this uh -huh. country. You understand uh -huh. why? I mean, they figure there's 11 million gay people in the United States, and most of them are like the one woman on, the, uh, on what was it, um, Sex and the City. Well, I, I, I decided that I would be gay because I enjoyed having sex with women. They did like that. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And white Mississippi team gets life sentence in black man's death. I know, but they don't send, uh, the trick is, is if they call it a race thing and not, a, they, they send it you differently if a white person kills a black person than a black person killing a white person. Oh really? How differently? Uh, basically they throw the book at you if you're white and you kill a black person. If you're a black person and you kill a white person, they'll, they'll extend every legal avenue they can to prove that the, black per the white person deserved to be killed. Interesting. And UN unites on Syria and violence spills into Lebanon. Well, they said they're not going to do anything about it for the simple reason they control Damascus. Damascus is the port to the Middle East. The Suez Canal only allows you to go south, but Damascus is the way you bring everything in. And Assad's military controls Damascus, and the Russian troops are there now to make certain he controls it. And major supermarket chains to stop selling pink slime beef. Okay, what it means is uh, you're no longer going to have lean hamburger anymore because that was the cutter for it. And it is not harmful, folks. You can sit there and eat the stuff, you know, you can cook it and eat it. It's just, it's, it's a, it, it's a, pro, it's a man-made product, the same as if you would do uh, soybeans. If soybeans look like slime, you make it. Mm -hmm. And photos, hundreds protest Trayvon Martin's death. Okay, the problem is the guy didn't break any laws. You cannot. He called the police up, told them that he felt threatened, and the kid, and the kid was doing nothing but hanging around this place all the time. And here's the problem. The, 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 okay, they're using a bit. He was he had been tossed, expelled from school. They won't tell you why he was expelled from school, but instead of doing what, being at home where he was supposed to, he kept hanging around this guy's place, and eventually. He basically did, when you feel threatened, you can shoot people in, in most states in this nation. And hazmat teams called to Joshua Tree National Park. Somebody dumped, we've been to Joshua Tree many times, somebody dumped some stuff out of a vehicle there and they had to basically call it a hazmat people. Uh, well, you ought to be there. They throw every type of junk you can think of. I know, park. it's not, I mean, it's not a big trash bin, although some people think it is. Yeah. And Australian police captured nation's most wanted man. Yeah. You know, and what, he, uh, what he did was he, he, he refused to become green and so they became the most wanted man in the country. Oh, come on! Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they elected, they, uh, they got rid of the green prime minister they had in uh, Australia, voted a non-green one in, the non-green one then implemented all the taxes and all the green policies of the guy that was thrown out. And they're trying to throw her out, but she refuses to call. Con you know, uh, like the Democrats won't do a budget, she refuses to call 
their parliament together so they can have a vote of no confidence and throw her out. Uh huh. And Australia plans a $288 million subsidy for General Motors. Oh, yeah. Um, and Hill, this is the better one. Obama has approved a billion dollars expenditure of, of GM in South America. A billion dollars the government's going to pay to expand GM in South America. They're not expanding in the United States, but they're going to expand in South America with American dollars. And photos. Hot weather doesn't bode well for ski resorts. I know, just after we got all that snow. Well, you go, go, all you have to do is go, on a, uh, go out and look at the mountains around here and you'll see snow everywhere. Yeah, Anamonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain in the Animal Kingdom. Okay. When you buy something that's hot, remember it's not always going to be hot.